Okay, another recommendation that I'm going to make, we're learning how to use Joomla here, is that in the book Joomla User's Guide by Barry North, when you get to chapter 4, he kind of walks you through how to do these things, how to um, make articles and sections and, and lay out your content and create a menu link for the content, but he does it in a um, in a sample site, with a uh, test site with no sample content. So we made our test site with sample content and I find it to be very useful for playing around when you're trying to learn Joomla to mess with all this sample content to turn things off turn them back on try to move them around see what happens that's important but what would also be helpful is if we create another test site with no sample content so that you can follow along with him in the book so let's do that right now so one thing you're going to have to do, you're going to have to go down to your WAMP server and you're going to go to PHP My Admin. Okay, I've already got it open right here. And I'm going to create a new database for um, this test site 2. Okay, so it's, I'm going to call it test 2. Right, create new database and create. So now there's a new database called test 2. All right, I can close that out now. All right, now what I'll do is I will go also to my WAMP server and I'll go to the WW directory and show you what I've done. There's my download of Joomla. I extracted it. I right clicked on it, went extract all, next, next, finish, and I extracted it to right here. Right, So there it is unzipped. Right Now I'm going to rename it. Um, I'll rename it uh, site 2. Okay, so now I've got a folder called Site2. Alright, so now back to my web browser. Instead of going to localhost my site, I'll change the URL and go to Site2. Hit enter. And then there's the installer again. I'll hit next for English, next for the pre installation check, next to accept the license database configuration localhost username is root password I'm hoping I forgot I think I forgot it I'm just gonna type in password database is test 2 okay and I'll hit next and it says unable to connect to the database could not connect to MySQL well that's because I got my password incorrect so I'll try my pass and hit next and boom it worked so the password was my pass not password um, so if you get that problem you know you you just you got your wrong username and password um, FTP configuration I can um, I can do that later so I'll hit next um, site name I'll call it test site 2 right um, you have to make uh, give them your email address I'll put uh, nim at nim.com meaning nothing at nothing.com because I can change that later admin password I'll just call it password again password again and then right here this is the key part instead of hitting install sample data don't do that um, don't install the sample data don't click on that button so I'll hit next it says you sure you don't want to install sample data because it's pretty useful and I'll say click OK no I don't want to install sample data now last step is reminding you to delete the installation directory so now before I can work with my site I need to go back to that WW folder into my site 2 folder and delete this directory right here. So I'll highlight it and delete it. All right, so that's deleting. All right, good. And now, once you're done, you can click on this button to go to your site. So I'll click on the button to go to my site, and there's test site 2. And here you go, look, that's completely different, right? Test site 2 has no sample content, it has no modules. It has, I mean, almost 
nothing showing up here, right? It's got one menu created by default. I mean, it's pretty empty, right? And then I can also go to the administrative side of the site by just clicking on this window and going to what was it? Test 2 or Site 2? Site 2, okay. So on this one I will go to Site 2 forward slash administrator type in admin I made my password password and I'm in so now what I can do is I can follow along with Barry in chapter 4 and when he creates an article I can create the article I can follow along with his um, his examples that he gives in the book and that will help you in learning immensely if you as you as you're reading you know he does this whole thing with uh, green widgets and blue widgets and things like that if you follow along in the book that'll be a big help it'll, it'll help your your learning and it'll also be nice to see an empty site as opposed to one that's full of sample content too uh, both ways are really good for learning